Hey, many of you already know that along with dill, parsley and savory, mint is one of my favorite herbs when it comes to cooking. And because dried mint is quite expensive to buy it from the store, this year for the first time I decided to grow my own. And in today's video I'm gonna share two different ways to dry mint and there is a third and fourth method which I would not recommend but I'll get to this towards the end. And one of the things about mint is that you have to prune it while it's still young if you're gonna use it otherwise these sticks they get woody and I don't like that at least me personally and the more you prune it the more it's gonna grow so I am gonna start by clipping some of the bigger ones that is just my personal preference you don't have to however pruning it will encourage new growth if you didn't know that about mint is the older it gets the more it loses its flavor so by picking it young you are securing more flavor out of your mint and I use mint not just for my tea, but I also use it in uh, some Bulgarian, it's a very popular herb in Bulgaria, and I use it in some of my Bulgarian recipes, and mint goes really well, mint goes really well with beans, and also I will attempt to make mint jelly, because we eat a lot of lamb in Bulgaria, and lamb goes really well, although we don't use it in Bulgaria. The first time I tried it was here in the United States, but it goes very well with lamb as well. So I, in a future video, I am going to attempt to make mint jelly once I have some more mint growing. This one I am going to dry out for tea and for cooking. And this is the chocolate mint. This is the regular mint. So I'm going to dry both of them out and see which one uh, matches better the Bulgarian mint that we use for cooking once it dries out. For tea it doesn't really matter, I think I can use either for my tea. So I am clipping it quite a bit, however it is gonna come back really fast because I planted this mint about a month, maybe a month and a half at the most ago. It, uh, it was smaller than what it is right now, so yeah, I think that's pretty good for right now. And then I'm gonna move along to this one. And this one has really taken off. It's my garlic. This one has really taken off and it's starting to get actually, starting to get, as you can see, it's much harder to clip. They're starting to get a little bit woody and it just smells so good. Another reason to grow your mint in containers is because if you grow it, if you start mint in your garden, it's like a disease. It's gonna take over your entire garden. All right, I have a few more big ones left here. And I can guarantee you that within a couple of weeks, that bin or that container, it's gonna be full of mint again. So I'm gonna keep drying it so I can make tea, herbal tea. Right, one more over here and that's it. All right, this is the last one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dry it. And a lot of, well, not a lot, I don't know how many, some people choose to dry their mint in either, they try to, they choose to dry their mint either in the oven or in a dehydrator. So unless you live in a place like, I don't know, the Florida Keys or other humid places, I don't see a reason to use the uh, dehydrator or the oven since you can just let it be outside and I mean unless you're in a huge hurry like if you have an emergency and you really 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 need dried mint just do it the good old way and I'm kind of picking stems that are about the same length here and I'm just gonna take my string kind of try to go around the leaves a little bit but even if you crush them it's not a big deal because if you have mint trust me you have plenty of it I'm yet to see anyone complaining that they had too little mint. <laughs> they don't have enough mint. All right, that's good enough. I'm gonna cut it over here and just make a loop. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm gonna make a loop. Just as such. All right, and now we'll move along to my next batch. And you know what? I'm not washing it for a reason and the reason being is that I am growing it in the pot here at home I didn't buy it from the store I don't have any pets that I would be worried that they may, might have peed on it or something so it's a clean mint there is no need to wash it if there is a little dirt on it it's a good dirt it's probiotic good probiotic for your gut and you will be amazed how many things mint it's good for 
It's a very, very underappreciated herb and it's so easy to grow. I mean, I don't mean to offend anyone, but I would call mint the stupid proofed herb because it takes no effort to grow it. And if anything, as I said, be careful planting it in your garden because once you plant it there, it's like an alien. It never, never you're trying to kill it and it keep, keeps coming back. But anyway, here in Arizona, we have a very dry climate and I am not worried about, I'm not worried about humidity or the mint not drying at all. So in dry climates, I mean, if it worked for my grandma, why wouldn't it work for me, right? Sometimes shortcuts are not good. Sometimes, most of the time, well, sometimes it's, it's good to do things the old school way. And I'm gonna tie this one over too. And yes, you can buy mint tea or dried mint from the store, but in my opinion, at least not, not my opinion, but this is my experience that when I grow something, it just the feeling of, I don't know, consuming something that you grew, it's pretty amazing. Plus herbal tea, organic herbal tea, it's pretty pricey. I do buy certain teas like chamomile and dandelion and they are, the organic ones are expensive. And I'll tell you what, in Bulgaria, as I said, we use it when we cook beans. Beans are a very popular dish in Bulgaria. And there is no need, I'm not, I'm not tying it like really tight. There is no need to do that. Just enough to, to keep it together. It smells so good. Tied this a little short, but it will do. Grow your own herbs. Oh, that smell. It's like a drug. There you go. And now I'm gonna go inside and hang it to dry. <sighs> So good. And you know what? And the second thought here, now it's warm enough outside, it's in the 90s, that I actually have to use the AC inside. So instead of bringing the inside, bringing the mint inside, although it's gonna smell really good, it's gonna dry out here faster. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these paper clips that I stretched and I'm just gonna hang my mint here. How about that? How about that? All right, that's perfect. Now my OCD kicks in. This one, it's too high and it drives me crazy, but that will do. Anyway, I'm just gonna let it dry out here. And don't make the bunches too big. This is about the right size. This way it's gonna air out and uh, dry out faster. And now it's exactly one week later, so the mint has completely dried out. And I'm gonna be using it for cooking, this particular one. So I'm just gonna pull the leaves out of the stem and the stem it's too hard to use in cooking. However, if you're using it for tea, you can use that as well. But just carefully remove all the leaves. You see how easy they come out? So it took exactly one week. Eventually I had to bring the, the minty inside because it got windy outside and it was getting dry. So I didn't wanna lose all the leaves in the wind. And I'm gonna save this for my tea, I'm not gonna get rid of them. But you see how nice and dry and crunchy it is? And these are all the leaves from the two bunches of dill, I mean of uh, mint. I'm gonna use this in my uh, recipe for my leg of lamb. You see it's nice and crunchy. And as I said, I'm gonna sa save those for tea. And now I'm jumping about three or four months in time. It's right in the middle of monsoon season here in Arizona. So the winds are very strong, about 75, 80 miles per hour when we have a storm. And it is extremely humid. I think the humidity is maybe around 70%. So I pick my mint and I bring it inside and I just put it in a tray and let it dry. And as you can see here in Arizona, even in the summer, right now it's early August and we have these big monsoon storms where it gets very windy. So the other day, or not the other day, about a week ago, I had to trim my mint and I just put it in a piece of paper inside the kitchen. Even with the AC and the high humidity during monsoon season, as you can see, it dried just fine. You just have to be careful because it, it does get pretty fragile pretty quickly. I mean, this is, um, I would say, only a week since I picked it, not, not more than that and I keep it inside because the wind will, that, that will not survive the monsoon, that will not survive the monsoon winds out there. So I'm just picking the leaves 
and dropping them here in my jar. This is how I store the meal, the mint in a glass jar. So even with humidity and AC running almost 24 seven, the mint still dries pretty well inside. So if you want, if you don't want to hang it outside, you can definitely just put it on a piece of paper and let it be. I really don't see the need of baking your or drying your mint in the oven or using a dehydrator. All you need is a little patience, that's all. And about every 10 days or so I have to trim the mint to keep it growing nice and young and fresh. So I just pull a piece of paper from the drawer with recycling paper, put my mint there and, and I have it for my delicious beans and lamb recipes. And if you use a lot of mint in cooking like I do, I would definitely recommend growing your own because for that amount of mint at the grocery store uh, you would probably have to pay, let me think about it, then, probably about $50 if not more than that. And I never started the mint from seed, I just buy the starter plant from the store and then plant it into a bigger pot. Well, this video turned out to be quite long and if you made it that far I would assume you liked it so please give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time visiting my channel please subscribe I would love to have you here and leave a comment I want to give you a personal welcome well in the comment section and as always thank you so much for watching I appreciate it bye